want a place to stay, get cozy. If you want a place to play, get cozy. If you're feeling not okay, get cozy. If you want to shout hooray, get cozy. Wee 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 Hiya! What a beautiful day. Whoa. I just had a dream that I was surrounded by animals. <gasps> Look, an elephant and a dog, a bear, and a cat. These aren't ferocious animals, they're my friends. Hmm, wonder what we should do today. I know, we can have some fun contests. First, let's see who can jump the highest. One, two, three. Ooh. It looked to me like the dog jumped the highest. Woohoo! The dog is the winner. Now let's see who can run the fastest. Okay, ready? Runners up and go. The cat is the winner. Woohoo! The cat is the winner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have an idea. Let's see who can play hide and seek the best. One, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. I don't think you guys are very good at this game. Okay, for the grand finale, who gives the best hugs? Oh, oh, such a good hug. Oh, it's such a great hug. But oh, wait, what's this? Is it Mr. Teddy that thinks that he can give the best hugs? Oh, okay, yeah, Mr. Teddy, you give the very best hugs. You get the biggest, best winner award. Thank you, thank you. I'm not the fastest and I can't jump the highest, but I do give the best bear hugs. Do you know what, my friends? Some people think that just because you're the fastest, that makes you the most important or just because you have the most money, that that makes you the best. Or if you have the biggest house, then that makes you the most awesome. But God doesn't think like that at all. The Apostle Paul, who was a great follower of Jesus and someone who went other places to tell other people about Jesus, well, he wrote a very important letter to the Christians that were living in the city of Corinth. That letter is in the Bible. Paul wanted them to know what the very most important thing is in our whole lives. Can you guess what it is? Some people said that being smart was the most important thing. They said, the more you know, the better you are. Well, it's important to know things, and we definitely want to learn more about God and everything we can, but just knowing things is not the most important thing. Other people said that giving and sharing with others is the most important thing. I know it's important to share. And giving to others is really, really good. But it's not the very most important thing ever. The very, very most important thing for all followers of Jesus is love. Now, when some people use the word love, they mean lots and lots of different things. Like how we love sports, or we love toys, or we love a kind of food. But that kind of love doesn't last. It comes and goes. But when Paul told us that love is the most important thing, he meant the kind of love that God has for us. God's love is patient and kind. God's love can help us be patient and kind to others. That love can help us forgive others, even when they've treated us badly. It also keeps us from getting angry with other people easily. God's real love means we stand up for others. We want what's best for them, and we will help them to be better. We'll courageously help others, even before we think about ourselves. God's love is not happy with evil or bad things, but it is filled with joy when the truth is spoken. Love protects, trusts, and hopes. Love is the most important thing because love never fails. What's so special about love is that it grows and grows and grows. But the best part about God's love is it makes us more like Jesus. It was Jesus's love that made him our savior. He gave his life for us so that we could be forgiven because he loves us. We are like Jesus when we show others God's real love. I'm so happy that God gives us his love and that God shows us how to love.